All right, guys, we are back at the thrift store. Um, once again, I had the honors assistant with me. We are gonna go and see what kind of weird shit we can find. So let's let's go do this thing. Okay, so we don't normally do books, but this raises so many questions. I just, <laughs> I don't even know. So like even more books. So I see a lot of these like quite a bit and like really nice copies of books. Like this is the celebrated jumping frog, one of the stories. It says Reader's Digest, and it's unfortunate, but like, they just, you know, no one sells, no one's really interested. What can you do? Wow. That's kind of cool. And also kind of creepy. This is a tiny little, like, doll set or something. That is... Craft Japan. That is a Blue Mountain Pottery song. 1981. It's a shame the top's gone. Yeah, see? Look at that. $6. I don't even think it's worth that, to be honest. It's always really, it's like, it's super disappointing to see it. Like, I see it, it's nice, but like, always, always overpriced. Okay, here's a fun fact. I actually thought this was Capodimonte looking at it at the start, but it's not. See the tag there? It's probably Noritake. And it's just irredeemably ugly. <laughs> that gets to stay there. We have a lot of porcelain today. Easily England. These I don't think go together. Woods everywhere, England. So much of this stuff is English. Yeah. England. That is a soup bowl, I think. Marie, Johnson Brothers. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Got one here. Missing a saucer. More down there. So this is um this is something Winter Majesty Protector of the Wolf. Yep, that's a thing. Just gonna put that down there. Somebody, I think. Look, oh my god! Oh, you bet me someone like donated their patriotic stuff. All right, put it down. What is that? Uh, nope. Yep. It's just. I, like I said about that the better. I know. I was just looking at those. Like there's another one. Look, there's the actual. Here's a sugar bowl down here. Parik. This should be like a whole. This should be like a whole set together. That's kind of nice. Oh, there's like more. Yeah. See, there's like more of them. And look, there's an entire like bunch of plates in there as well. That's kind of nice. Okay, you just, you'd think this is a stack, this is not a stack of cups, this is like a, a vase or something. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay, so I was reading about this. Okay. Is it, does it say Mexico on the bottom? I bet you it does. Nope, nothing on this. There's nothing on mine. Dang it! Okay, well, apparently this is called Tolavera pottery from Mexico. It's really cute. I know, they're all just like, if you see that, they're all just like the super kind of like colorful stuff. So the plates are just a disaster, as usual. Okay, so... And it's got nothing on the bottom. And it's also broken. Oh, and it's broken at the top as well. I bet you, though, that is, that is Teleflora. It's kind of... I mean, it's nice. If, if, it was, if it wasn't just flashed on the inside, I think it would be really cool. Ooh, okay, I'm going to stop and just actually take the sticker off. And there was nothing on the underside. Okay, this oh, well. is a walnut. What? It's 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 a walnut, but like it looks like a toilet. But but it's a walnut. What's it for? I. What goes in here? I don't know. Is there any mark on it? Uh, no. Just. God damn it! I. Oh, I'm so curious now. I can't believe it. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, maybe. I just swim. <laughs> oh my god, that's a big swan. Tell me what's on the underside. Is it, is it's, it Japanese? It's, it's not. Yeah. It is made in Taiwan. That it's is. also like ridiculously light for what it, I thought it would be. Do you think it's like a, it must be a planter or something? I think it's for something toilet related. I don't know. It just <laughs> reminds me of. Is that is it that the day we're having? <laughs> yes. Okay. It just reminds me of a bathroom thing. Okay. Well, this is the thing I was actually looking at because that is a lot of sangria. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of sangria. We got no marks at the bottom. God damn it. There's another one. What? A cow. We have more cows. <laughs> I think we should probably put that back over with the other one. I don't know what it's doing on this side. Oh my god. What does that say on it? Oh. oh, is it Avon or something? Please tell me it's Avon. This? Yeah. It's <laughs> what? It's Patagonia liquor. Hold on. This is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I just want to. It's. Like. <laughs> okay, it must not be sealed because I don't hear anything in there. What do you think? Has it been opened? It looks like it's been... I don't know. I'm gonna... It's, yeah, and it's all in Spanish at the back, so I have no idea. I think it must have been opened. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I'm going to Go take a look ask for a translation. <laughs> okay. Okay, not normally a bottle person, but... That is cool. This is kind of cool, and... I kind of recognize that base of the being of... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I was reading a bunch of stuff to do with bottles, okay? And yeah, I need this. I need to take this. That's kind of cool. This is now officially one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Is this kangaroo? That and then I need kangaroo. like an explanation. I think it's like a pen rest or something. That's um, that's frightening. Yeah, we just check, oh, check this out. Yeah, it's Ministerath, except it's like a box. I can remember, okay? I used to work in like a, a like a game shop. I did games a lot workshop? of this. No, 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 no. not games workshop, okay. but it was a game shop like this where they had a lot of collectible stuff. Mm -hmm. And I remember selling stuff like this in like 2003. Yes. It's <laughs> so really cool. So almost I, vintage. That's I probably from the release of the movies. I think it's a book. Uh, I think it's like a trinket box or something. Is there anything on the underside? Oh. The Return of the King. Ministerath. Oh look, the DVD collectible. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Maybe not like entirely vintage, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. What? I... <sighs> that's the wildest thing I've ever seen. What? Cursed. So cursed. Like the little ball lamp things. These are kind of cool. Look at all the loader shit. The what? I think they're chests. It is! It's a chest set. But they're like really the crappy, the flimsy plastic. Yeah, they're just Lord of the Rings again. I tell you, somebody donated all of their Lord of the Rings stuff. And like their Cuban and Argentine memorabilia. Yeah, maybe. Because. Oh, yep, that's the thing. I, I gotta go back and get that minister thing. It's kind of fun. Yes, do it. That's a lot of giraffes. Oh, hey! That's neat! I think it's been kind of flash, but I want to see what that is on the inside. Let's take a look. That, oh, I wish it was signed. That looks a lot like, um, like Robert Held. Hold on. It just looked, it is Robert Held and it's got its original tag on the inside. <gasps> so happy! <laughs> it's probably not one of his vintage pieces, but it is just lovely. <laughs> happy dude. This is interesting. Yeah. Be careful, has loose pieces inside. Little guys. I I'm not sure if this is plastic. No, it, it feels like clay. Yeah. That's but a weird little set, isn't it? Yeah, is there any mark on the box? Uh, I... That is one hell of a box. 
And yeah, that's uh, it be working. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I wonder if this is like the 1970s or something. That is a big bottle. <laughs> is today going to be the day of our class? That looks like, oh, it's because it's got this moss ring. Eight dollars? Hmm. How do we feel about it? I feel that if you put it up on whatever it definitely sells, it's freaking gorgeous. I identify anything about it though. I don't know. Holy crap, that is big. That is Indiana glass, I think. That is 1970s carnival glass. It like is during the revival. Cool. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Eight dollars? I couldn't ship that. It's too big. <laughs> that is so cool though. Like look at that shine on it. Holy shit. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah. It is kind of cool. I just don't know what I use it for, and I get I suspect yes. that it's not uranium glass. So, Same. and I've gone and left my black light at home, so we can't test it, unfortunately. I'll leave the bottle there. Storage jars. Many, 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 many storage jars. This thing's kind of fun. In China. I remember being this being a thing. Yeah. That is very extra. Like, okay, fun fact, I see these little tea jars basically all the time and they're always really pretty to see, but I have no idea how to find out anything about them because like, they're usually kind of not in great shape and they're always unmarked. They're kind of nice, they're interesting. So the ruin of Pyrex in the dishwasher continues. This hasn't been through a lot, but you can tell by the surface is all matted. It's just like, that's been through the dishwater a few times. Shame. Okay, we're just, I just want to observe that this is actually a vintage teapot that we mark on the bottom that says 1988, but that looks so suspiciously like something else. And I'm just like, okay, nope. Why are they putting the cups over here now? So back, yeah. Oh, like, okay, it's part of the set, so it's part of that set. That's interesting. It is precious. So. Oh, hey! Dang it, that's heavy. It's pretty. Yeah, that is the, oh, what's it called again? It is the reproduction of the Federal Madrid pattern, I think. Like it's, I don't think it's the original. The original was probably from the 1930s and this is not old enough to be 1930s. Yeah. That's kind of cool though. A good price for it. I just noticed there's a second one. Oh, that looks back together. Maybe if someone's looking for vintage last word, they'll get the set. I found decently priced <laughs> <laughs> That Yeah, that's Blue Mountain Pottery, isn't it? Oh yeah, there you go. There's a the symbol. I like this one a little bit better, though it's really cute. That one's kind of nice. That, I just don't know no. what's going on with it. I don't actually like Blue Mountain Pottery. It's a style that's not for everybody. Yeah. That's kind of nice. I'm not sure what that is from, though. I really like these, but I didn't think they will survive in the dishwasher. Oh, absolutely not. But they are just the most beautiful. But can I just... Yes. There's little ones. There. Wow. That is beautiful. Yeah, they, they would not survive in the dishwasher. That's really cool though. <laughs> 1970s. Okay, so this is kind of cool. These, I... These look like Turkish teacups. A little set of them there. And this is flashing, so it's not like the real stuff. And this is Anchor Hawking Wexford. Oh, Christ, that's heavy. Turkish teacups. Oh, yeah, that's redonkulous. And actually, what price we got? There you go. $8. Christ. <laughs> Come 
modern, but interesting. I see this pattern every once in a while. Damn if I can figure out what it's from. I'm pretty sure it's EAPG. It's kind of nice. She should get this or not. I'm kind of here for it. You got it. It's a crease in her popcorn machine. I think that's um, that's a hell of a thing. And then I think it was a crease in our popcorn machine. Okay, then. Yeah, we're having a great day. Is it broken? Yeah, absolutely. Oh no. Well, all right. We Oh. Yeah, let's just let's just grab the grab the bits and I guess leave it on the shelf. Aye. Yeah, yeah, it's a thrift store. Okay, this is kind of cool. Kind of feels like an EAPG piece. What? <laughs> look, it's okay. Look, it's okay. Stuff happens. It's all right. It's kind of nice. That is. Holy crap! This is. You, okay, just take. Toaster. Feel that. Oh. That is heavy. Are you sure you want me to no. hold this after what just happened to the popcorn machine? Yeah. And you just. Damn, I actually think this is a burger burning cut. Okay, I gotta take a closer look at it. Hold on. Okay, just put it back up. It's heavy lead crystal, but from the 1970s. Christ! Ooh. This, however... This is Czechoslovakian, as far as I know, and it's from... It's sort of modern. But I remember, I've seen this pattern before. So have I. Yeah. My grandma had that. I kind of think it's vintage. It's like it's basically the reproduction stuff that they would have made in the nineteen seventies of of ABC Oh, that is very purple. <laughs> that is very purple. Oh, here's something cool. Oh wow, that is silver overlay. That's kind of a nice one as well. Is that a candy dish or an ashtray? Um, it's gonna be a candy dish of some kind. I think it actually might be missing a lid, but that's pretty nice. Like, you can see that the silver is kind of a pretty, quite a bit nicer than the stuff you'd normally see. I'm actually gonna get this for four bucks. I kind of like it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm here for it. So there's a lot going on here. Wow. Draw your own conclusions. Oh my god. I'm kind of in love with that. Crap. That is so cool. Let's take down and take a look at it. Okay, for what's worth, I think this is actually somebody's art project, but it is just a hell of a thing. 24 bucks. It's not even on canvas, it's just on a board. Wow. Okay, so we found this lamp, and according to the anonymous assistant, this is the wrong lamp. This is incorrect according to Geekdom. So, explain. So, um, the lightsaber hilt is Darth Vader's lightsaber hilt, I'm pretty sure. And there's the Rebel Alliance logo, and those things just don't go together. <laughs> Alright, straight from Geekdom. This lamp is wrong. Okay, somebody did a bad thing. This lamp is beautiful. Somebody decided to slap some paint over the actual gilt. And I don't know why they do that because the lamp is just beautiful on its own. It's disappointing. It looks like a child made a mark. Yeah. What, can you tilt it up so that I can see the base on it? Just tilt it up so I want to see what's on the base of it. What do we got? Do we have anything? Uh, remains of a sticker that I cannot make out. It's very light. Though. Yeah. It's so cool though. I like it. Okay, straight up, just as proof that you see literally everything in a thrift store. 
We've also got a headless mannequin for no reason. And a child's ironing board or something? Maybe a one for a table? I don't know. Still though, that's that's something. Yes. <laughs> I just think, oh my god, and my videos are under gratuitous nudity now. <laughs> Just discovered that this nice bowl is all kinds of broken. So back it goes. Okay, so that's it. I think we got a lot of really well. I got a lot of really weird stuff. The anonymous assistant didn't pick up anything that caught her fancy. So that was interesting. Uh, thanks very much for watching.